Good evening and welcome to JJK Yoga. Okay, so today we're going to need a strap. If you don't have a strap, you can use a belt or a tie. If you don't have anything um, available to you, I will give you other options. Okay, we're going to start in a seated position today. So ideally, I'd like you in a cross-legged position. If your knees are really high, you can come to sit on some blocks or maybe a few cushions. Just draw your shoulders down your back. And we're just going to start with our hands in the chin mudra to begin with. So connect your thumb and your index finger and just close your eyes here. So today we're going to practice Nadi Shodhana, which is alternative nostril breathing. Before we begin, I just want you to take a few breaths here. Just bring yourself to your mat, allowing your mind and your body to become quiet and still. So Nadi Shodhana, which is alternative nostril breathing, is really good for balancing out both nostrils and just really cleaning out the airways. I'll just explain what we need to do. So we're going to be bringing our right hand up to our face and then the right thumb sits outside the right nostril. The index and middle finger either draw in towards your palm or they can just sit on your third eye. And your ring finger is placed outside your left, left nostril. If you find it difficult to hold your arm up, you can just place your left hand underneath the elbow here as acting as support. Okay. So when you're ready, I want you to raise your right hand bringing your right thumb onto the outside of your right nostril and your ring finger outside the, uh, your left nostril. Your index and middle finger can either rest on your forehead by the third eye or it just rolls into your palm. Close your eyes here. Keep your nostrils open to begin with and just take a few deep breaths in and out of both nostrils. We're going to do this together. So seal your mouth as you breathe in and out of the nostrils, similar to what you would do when you do your ujjayi breath. Your left hand, either the back of the hand is on the left knee, index finger and thumb connected, or you've got the hand underneath your right elbow. Now take a deep breath in and a deep breath out of both nostrils. Then slowly close your right nostril, your right thumb, as you inhale through your left nostril. Close your left nostril, hold it there, and then open your right, exhale. Inhale. Close your right nostril, Hold it, open the left, exhale. That's one round. Inhale. Close your left nostril, hold it there. Open the right, exhale. Inhale. Close your right, hold, open the left. Exhale. Inhale. Close the left. Hold. Open the right. Exhale. Inhale. Close the nostril. Open the left. Exhale. Two more rounds. Inhale. Close the left nostril. Retain the breath there. Open the right. Exhale. 
Inhale. Close the right nostril, hold it there. Open the left, exhale. Inhale. Close. Open the left, open the right, exhale. Inhale. Close the right nostril, hold it there. Open the left, exhale. Keeping your eyes closed, slowly place the back of that right hand back onto the knee. Connecting the thumb with the index finger back into your chin mudra. And then just close your mouth here and start to breathe in and out of your nose. Just taking a few deep breaths here. And just notice if a breath feels any different. So during that practice, you might have noticed it was easier to breathe in and out of one nostril than the other. And this just helps to balance both nostrils out. Couple more breaths here. And then slowly open your eyes and bring yourself back into the room. Turn your um, palms over your knees. Take an inhale. As you exhale, just lift your shoulders and draw them back down your back. Take another inhale. And as you exhale, just draw your chin down to your chest. Now you're going to slowly roll your left ear to your left shoulder. And then roll it back to your chin and over to the right. You're just going to do this a couple more times. If you feel any resistance and you want to hold it there, you can. And when you've done an equal amount on both sides, slowly raise your head. And then grab your strap if, or your tile belt if you have one. If you don't have one, I just want you to bring your hands to your shoulders and you're just going to draw some gentle circles with your, uh, some small circles with your elbows, just going back. And then you're going to slowly enlarge those circles. And you'll do that one way and then you'll reverse it. And you can just uh, alternate between forwards and backwards. If you have a strap or anything similar, you're going to bring your strap out nice and wide. If you've got a buckle, just hold the buckle side, otherwise it'll make a lot of noise. As you inhale, you reach the strap up and over your head. Exhale, bring it all the way back. So you want to make sure your arms are nice and straight. Inhale, all the way back up. Exhale, all the way back. But there's going to be some resistance to that. So if the strap is quite loose, just bring your hands closer together. If your elbows are bending, just walk your hands further apart. So we're just going to do this a few times, working into the front of our chest and the backs of our shoulder blades, just creating some movement. Just doing this as we breathe in, you lift and exhale, bring it over. Inhale all the way up and then exhale all the way back down. A couple more. And the next time you have the strap in front of you, just place it over to one side. And then you're just going to slowly start to walk your hands forward. Inhale, and as you exhale, see if you can walk a little bit more. Really draw those hips back. And then slowly walk your way back. Now, whichever your leg you have in front, so I've got my right knee in front, but if you've got your left leg in front, I want you to turn to the left. If you've got your right knee in front, turn to your right, take an inhale, and as you exhale, you're just going to walk yourself over that knee. 
Inhale, lengthen, exhale, maybe just walk yourself a little bit more forward. And then slowly come back up. And just switch your legs over so that the opposite leg is in front this time. Lovely. Now bring your right arm up by your ear, bend your elbow and place that hand behind your shoulder blade. Now use your left hand outside your right elbow to really draw that hand down your shoulder blade. You can stay there and just work into this position. Or if you can grab your, bring your left arm behind you to interlace your hand, you can come into this position. If you're in this position, keep drawing your left shoulder back. Whichever position you're in, keep your head upright and just really focus on drawing your breath all the way to the top of your chest. Keep that right bicep drawing in towards your ear. And then slowly, if you've got the left arm behind you, bring that arm up and over. If you've got it over your right hand, just bring it over. Bring the left hand behind your shoulder blades now, bringing your right hand behind your left elbow. Again, just drawing that hand further down the back. You can stay there working here. You bring your right arm behind you, interlacing your hands behind your shoulder blade, drawing that right shoulder back. Again, keep that left bicep drawing towards the ear, head in an upright position. And then slowly release the arms. Bring your right hand outside your left knee, walk your left hand behind, gaze towards me, inhale, really extend through your hips, and as you exhale, start to twist over to your left. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, just twist over, really twisting the whole body over. And then slowly come back to centre. Bring your left hand outside your right knee, bring your right hand behind you, again, inhale, lengthen, exhale, twist over to your right. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, twist a little bit more. And then come back to centre. Take an inhale as you exhale. You're just going to walk your hands forward. Again, just drawing your chest over your legs. Inhale and exhale. Try not to lose that connection with your breath. Take an inhale as you exhale. Slowly come back up. So this time you're going to go over the opposite knee. So whichever leg is in front, turn your body towards that knee. Take an inhale. And as you exhale, just walk your chest over that leg. And then slowly come back up. So we're going to make our way into a tabletop position. Bring your wrists directly under your shoulders, knees directly under your hips. Check your toes are in, um, in line with your knees and drawing back. And as you inhale, draw your tailbone back, chest forward. Gaze forward. Exhale, really round through the spine, drawing the navel up towards the ceiling, chin towards your chest. Inhale, chest forward, tailbone back. Try to draw the shoulders down towards your knees. Exhale, really squeeze the navel up towards the ceiling. Let the shoulders round as well. Last one. Inhale, chest forward. Exhale. Spine towards the ceiling. And then slowly come to a tabletop position. This time you're going to reach your right arm out to the side. And as you exhale, you're going to thread it underneath your left armpit, coming down to your right cheek. Then walk your left arm up. Take an inhale, really extending the left side of the body. As you exhale, breathe into the under part of your right arm. Really breathe into the backs of those shoulder blades. And then slowly walk that left hand back, come back to tabletop. This time as you inhale, you reach your arm out to the left. As you exhale, thread it underneath your right armpit. Come into the top of your 
Left shoulder walking your right arm to the top of your mat. Inhale, extend that right side. Exhale, really breathe into the under part of that left shoulder. And then slowly walk your hand back and make your way to that tabletop position. We're going to come to lie on our mat now. So just to come down, just come down to lie on your belly. And just bring it, create a pillow with your one palm on top of the other. Just take a breath there. And then you're going to place your forehead down onto the mat, place your hands down by your side. See if you can creep your fingertips down towards your feet. Now really press your palms down into the mat. Press the top of the foot, all the toes down into the mat, including the little toe. So then everything below your hips is pressing down into the mat. And as you inhale, you're going to slowly lift your forehead, your nose, your chin, your chest off the mat. Keep drawing the shoulders down your back. Gaze is on the mat, so don't lift the head. Keep the neck in line with the spine. Use your hands. Press down into your hands and the tops of your feet to lift that chest higher. And then slowly calm down. Just come to rest on your right cheek. Gaze towards the left. Turn your palms over. And then slowly come back. This time we're going to interlace our hands behind our sacrum. So the palms draw together. And then just bend the elbows, rotate your right shoulder and your left shoulder, extend your arms, just check you can lift your hands off your buttocks and then place your hands back on your buttocks. And then again, we're going to press the thighs and knees, the tops of the feet back into the mat. And as you inhale this time, you're going to reach your forehead, your chin, your chest off the mat and lift your arms. Imagine someone's grabbing your hands and drawing you back. Again, your gaze is just forward. Try not to fling your neck back here. Really press down into your feet, take an inhale. And then see if you can lift a little bit higher. There should be no compression in your lower back or your neck. And then slowly lower. Release your arms. This time gaze to the right. Come onto your left cheek. Now. Bring your right arm out so that your right wrist is in line with your right shoulder, palm pressing down into the mat, the front of the right shoulder pressing down into the mat. Gaze over your left shoulder and bring your hand under your left shoulder. Take an inhale. As you exhale, slowly slide your left leg on top of your right leg. And then you can stay here or you can bend the knee and place the foot behind your right leg. Now, if your head is really high off, off the mat, you can place a cushion or a block underneath your head. Again, you can stay here with your hand in front or you can bring your left arm behind you, placing your hand, the back of your hand onto your sacrum or just threading your hand underneath your waist. If you've got your arm behind you, keep drawing that left shoulder back and really breathe into that under part at the front part of that right shoulder. Breathe in and out of your nose here. Again, try not to hold onto your breath. And just draw the exhale down to any areas of tightness that you might be feeling. Just allowing it to soften. One more breath here. And then if you've got your arm behind you, bring your hand back. And then you're going to slowly, if you've got your leg behind you, slowly bring that leg back. So you slowly come out of the pose the same way you went in. Gaze over your right hand. And then bring your right hand under your shoulder and extend your left arm out. So again, your left hand is in, your left wrist is in line with your left shoulder. Front of your left shoulder pressing down into the mat. Gaze over to your right. 
And then slowly bring that leg over your left leg. You can stay there or you can bend your knee, placing your right foot to the back of your left leg. Hand can stay in front or you can bring it behind you, back of the hand on your sacrum or threading it under your waist. If the arm is behind you, just draw that right shoulder back. Again, if your head doesn't comfortably reach the floor, you can use a block or cushion under your head. Again, just close your eyes here, return back to your breath. Just using your breath to create some softness here. After your next full breath, if you've got your arm behind you, slowly bring it forward. Knee bent, slowly extend that leg. Start to bring yourself all the way back, gazing over your left hand. Now from here, we're going to make our way either into a high cobra or sphinx pose. So sphinx pose, you just have your forearms on the mat, palms pressing down. Elbows underneath your shoulders. That's first option. Second option is to bring your hands underneath your shoulders and then slowly lift your chest and your belly off the mat. Okay, so choose the option that feels right to you. And then take an inhale. As you exhale, turn your gaze over your right shoulder. Inhale back to centre. Exhale, gaze over your left shoulder. And then back to centre. And slowly start to make yourself back down to the mat. Press down into your hands and you're going to slowly scoot back into a child's pose. So bring your big toes to touch, knees hip distance or wider. Take an inhale and as you exhale, just slide those hands forward and bring your forehead, chin and chest down towards the mat. As you creep those fingertips more forward, draw those hips further back. And really breathe into your back body now. Just reconnect with your breath here. Really allowing the back of your lungs to expand. Next inhale, lift your head and then walk your hand over to the top left hand corner. So really reach that right hip back and then bring your right hand on top of your left hand and just drop your head here. Just try to drop the right shoulder as well. Just feel the extension along the right side of the body. Inhale, hands back to centre and exhale over to the opposite side. This time really drawing your left hip back, bring your left hand on top of your right hand, extending the left side of the body. Try to drop that left shoulder. And then come back to centre. Take a breath there. And then make your way to a tabletop position. Keep your toes pointing, uh, feet in your knees are hip distance and toes are pointing back. Hips stuck over your knees. Take an inhale and as you exhale, you're going to slowly walk your hands forward. Drawing your forehead, your chin or chest down towards the mat. Keep your hips stacked over your knees. So we're coming into Anahatasana, heart opening pose. Keep drawing that chest down towards the mat. If you have really tight shoulders, you can bend your elbows. And then slowly walk your way back up. And this time you're going to step 
your right foot outside your right hand. And then turn your right toes out. Keep the right heel where it is, turn the right toes out. Keep your left hand on the mat and then come onto the outside of that right foot. Bring your hand onto the inside of that thigh and just turn your body over that leg. So really opening up that right hip. Lovely. So if you have a block here, you can place a block underneath your left hand. Just really opening up that right hip now. Now you can stay here just working on this pose. Or maybe you can come onto the top of your left thigh and draw that left heel in towards your buttock, buttock and then bring your, bring your right arm behind you just grabbing onto that foot. Join that heel in towards your in towards your left buttock, that's it. And then again, just opening up the chest over that leg. So now you're really working into that right hip and that left quad. Make sure if you're bringing your leg back, you're not pressing into the kneecap. So make sure you're on the top of the thigh. So you're just gonna walk that leg further back. And then slowly lower that foot and bring yourself back. Lovely. And then from there, you're going to swing your right foot over to the left, coming into a pigeon pose. Really tuck your left hip under now. Start with your hands either side of your hips, take an inhale. And as you exhale, you're just going to slowly walk your torso over your front leg. So remember, your left hip is drawing under, right hip is drawing back. If your right hip is really high, you can place a block or cushion under your hip. We're just going to hold it here for a few breaths. Try to relax your shoulders. And then slowly, after your next full breath, walk your hands back, either side of your hips, and extend your spine. Take an inhale. As you exhale, turn to look over your right knee. Take an inhale, and exhale your chest over your right knee now. So remember, if your forehead doesn't reach the mat, you can place a block or cushion underneath your head, or maybe just stack your hands underneath. Really breathing into the outside of that right leg. And then after your next full breath, slowly make your way all the way back up. And this time you're going to bring your left leg in front. So we're going to come into double pigeon. I'm going to give you two options here. So I'll just show you from the front so it's easier. So you're bringing either your left heel by your right hip and your right heel by your left hip, stacking your knees. And you can just work here, join your hips back and join your chest over your legs. Okay, it's the first option. Second option is to bring your arms out. Bring your right arm underneath your left arm. You can bring your hands onto your shoulders. 
um, and just work on lifting the elbows and then drawing yourself forward over your knee. Or you can bring the backs of your arms together or you can bring interlace your hands. If you've got your arms up, then you draw your elbows forward and you bring your forearms forward. And you can just again, take an inhale and exhale, bring your arms over your legs. So that's the first option with the hand positioning. Second option is to line up your left shin with the front edge of your mat. And then you bring your right ankle on top of that left knee and your left knee on top of your, um, so your right knee on top of your left ankle. If it doesn't quite reach, you can place a block in between that foot and knee, okay? Once you're in this position, again, you bring your arms out nice and wide, right arm threads underneath your left arm. You're either here working on this position or you bring your arms, the backs of your arms together, you interlace your hands, okay? Whichever position you're in. If you're in this position, you lift the elbows. If you're in this position, you lift the elbows, draw your arms forward and then just start to walk yourself forward. So it doesn't matter how far you come, once you find that point of resistance, you just hold it there, keep drawing your hips back. Now slowly come back up, release your arms, but keep your leg position where it is. Draw your shoulders down your back, take an inhale. As you exhale, just walk your hands forward. So this time, you're just drawing your chest down towards the mat. And just relax there. If you're quite far down, and you can get a block underneath your head or a cushion, you can always rest your forehead on a block or a cushion. You might notice that with each exhale, you can move a little bit further into the pose. One more breath here. And then slowly come back up. Release your legs and make your way back to that tabletop position. Lovely. This time, you're gonna step your left foot outside your left hand, okay? So you can just draw that right leg further back if you can. Then keeping your left heel where it is, just draw the left toes out and come onto the outside of that foot. Keep your right hand underneath your right shoulder and use your left hand against that leg to really open the hip and turn your body over that leg. You can just stay here, really opening up that left hip. Or maybe you can now start to think about bending your right knee. So make sure you're on the top of your right thigh, bending that knee, and bring your left hand to grab that foot and draw that foot in towards your right buttock. So again, come to the place that's right for you. Make sure there's no pressure on your kneecap and turn your body over that leg. So in this position, you're working your hip and you're also working the front of that right quad. And keep breathing here. Make sure if you're, you're not hyperextending your right elbow, have a slight micro bend there. Chest nice and open. And then you're going to slowly bring that foot down and bring that leg back. And then you're walking that leg, that foot, all the way over to your right. Knee behind your left wrist, foot behind your right wrist. Tucking that right hip under now. Walk your hands either side of your hips. Really extend your spine as you inhale. And as you exhale, you're just going to walk your chest over your front leg. Coming into pigeon. So again, if your left hip is really high, you can place a block or a cushion underneath. If your forehead doesn't reach the mat, you can just place a block or a cushion under your forehead. Once you're in this position, try to just soften 
your shoulders and just bring your awareness back to your breath and use your breath to just maybe soften some of that resistance you're feeling. Next, take an inhale. Take a slow, take a full breath, and then on your next inhale, walk your hands back up, extend your spine, and then slowly turn your torso over your left knee. Take an inhale, and as you exhale, just walk yourself over that left leg. Again, just breathing into the outside of that left thigh and hip. One more breath here. And then slowly walk your hands back up, lengthen the spine, and then bring that right leg forward. And then we come back to the front. This time, again, choose the, go to the same position you went to last time, so I'll show you the options. Either your right leg comes underneath your left. You bring your right heel to your left hip and your left hip to your right hip. So this is the first option, you bring the arms out, and then you bring your left arm underneath your right arm, bring your arms, uh, hands to your shoulders, lifting the elbows, or maybe you wrap your forearms, back of the forearms, or interlace your hands. If you're interlacing your arms, you lift the elbows and draw the arms forward. So whichever position you're in, you're then gonna shift your body forward, drawing those hips back. So that's the first option. Second option is to bring your right shin in line with your the right uh, the front edge of your mat, foot nice and flexed, and then you bring your left ankle on top of your right knee, and that right knee sits on top of your left ankle. Um, sorry, that left knee sits on top of your right ankle. Now again, if there's a big gap there, you can place a block in between. Bring your arms out nice and wide. Again, bring your left arm out uh, underneath your right arm. You're either coming to this position or you're bringing the backs of your forearms together or interlacing your hands. Lift your elbows. If you've got your hands on your shoulders, you stay there. If you've got your arms wrapped, you bring your arms forward. Take an inhale, drawing those hips back. Slowly start to draw your chest forward. Once you find that first point of resistance, just hold it there. So you're really working into your hips and working into the backs of your shoulders here. Slowly come back up, release your arms, draw your shoulders down your back and this time just walk your hands forward. Returning back to your breath. So you use the inhale to create space and exhale to go a little bit for, further into the pose. One more breath here. And then slowly calm back up. Release your legs. Now extend your right leg out and keep your left, the sole of your left foot onto the inside of your right groin. 
to your right legs nice and wide. Keep that leg nice and active, toe and knee facing up towards the ceiling. Now bring your right arm down onto the inside of that right leg. And as you inhale, you're going to reach your left arm up and over, just extending the left side of the body. So if you can grab your foot, grab your foot, wherever you are, really think about opening up your left chest up towards the ceiling. So keep that shoulder nice and open. Feel the extension along the left side. Make sure your left sit bone is rooted down into the mat. And then slowly come up. Turn your torso over your right leg. Take an inhale. And as you exhale, slowly walk your hands either side of your leg and draw your chest over that thigh. Forehead coming down towards that shin. Draw your shoulders down your back. And really breathe into the um, back of that right leg. Make sure both sit bones are rooted down. Try to draw the chest down rather than your forehead. So try to keep a nice straight spine if you can. And then slowly come back up. Now bend that leg and straighten the other leg. So this time you're drawing the inside, uh, the sole of the right foot onto the inside of the left leg. Left leg, nice and active. Knee and toes pointing up to the ceiling. And then you're going to bring your left arm onto the inside of that leg, just planting that arm down. And inhale, reach your right arm up and over. Again, drawing that chest up towards the ceiling. So if you go ahead, grab your foot, grab your foot. But... Make sure your chest is opening. So try to focus more on opening the chest and not collapsing in the shoulder. Really feeling the stretch along the right side. Make sure both sit bones are rooted down into the mat. And then slowly come back up. Turn your torso over your left leg, making sure that leg is active. Foot nice and flexed. Hands either side of that leg, take an inhale. And as you exhale, just draw your chest over that leg. Inhale, lengthen, exhale. Just drawing your chest down over that thigh. Just check in on yourself, make sure you're breathing. And then slowly come back up to centre. This time bring both your legs out, nice and wide. Pull the flesh from underneath your sit bone. So if you have a really rounded lower back, I just want you to bring your hands behind your back. And really think about extending your spine and creating a nice long spine. Otherwise, you bring your hands forward. Again, keep those legs nice and active. Take an inhale. And as you exhale, just draw your chest down towards the mat. Keep your hips pressing back. Make sure your sit bones are rooted into the earth. Feet active. And again... Inhale to lengthen, exhale, maybe you can go a little bit deeper. Try not to let those feet collapse in. One more breath here. And then slowly bring yourself all the way up. Bring the soles of your feet together. So you can either have your heels drawing in towards your groin or just draw your heels slightly further apart, uh, further away. And you can grab the outside of your toes or maybe your ankles and just press your elbows down onto the inside of your legs. Just gently using that to draw your knees down towards the mat. Keep your spine nice and long. 
sit bones pressing back into the mat. Inhale as you exhale, drawing that chest over your legs. And then slowly just allow your forehead to reach down to your toes, just rounding through your shoulders. And then slowly come back up. Bring your knees in. Squeeze your knees in, just lengthening your spine. And then we're going to slowly start to make our way down to the mat. So come to lie on the mat. And then just draw your knees into your chest. Just have a gentle hug of the knees in. And then we're going to come to a happy baby pose. So the soles of the feet reach up towards the ceiling. And you can either grab the backs of your heels, index middle finger around your big toes, or maybe grab the outsides of the feet. So choose a position that's available to you. Keep the lower back connected to the mat, and then maybe just gently rock your baby from side to side here. And then come to a still happy baby. Try to draw those knees down towards the mat. Keep the lower back pressing down into the mat. So try not to let the lower back lift. And then draw the knees back into the chest. Drop the feet. Bring the arms out nice and wide. Walk the feet slightly wider than hip distance. Take an inhale. And as you exhale, slowly lower your knees over to the left, turning your gaze over your right shoulder. You can stay here, or maybe bring your left foot over your right knee, just extending the right side of that body. Just stretching along the side. Slowly release that foot, bring the knees and the gaze back to centre. Take an inhale, and as you exhale, drop the knees over to the right. This time you can bring your right foot over your left knee, turning your gaze over your left shoulder. And then just feeling that stretch along the left side of your body. And then slowly release the foot. Bring the knees back to centre. If you need to, just draw your knees into your chest. We're slowly going to make our way into Shavasana. So you can, if you need to wear extra layers or turn off the light, now's a good time to do that. And then slowly bring yourself down to your mat, extending your legs out in front. Just going to switch off the light here. So once you're in Shavasana, just let the feet splay out. Relax your legs, your thighs. Let the palms open towards the ceiling, fingertips rolling in. Just allow everything to soften onto the mat. Press the shoulders down, keep the chest nice and open. And just allow the front body to soften into the back body and the back body just to melt into the earth. Release any tension at the back of your neck, your face and your jaw. And just soften that area around your eyes, your cheeks and your forehead as you make your way into our final pose, Shavasana.
Now slowly start to bring some movement back into your fingers and your toes. Maybe creating some gentle circles with your ankles and your wrists. Lengthen your arms up behind you, reaching your toes forward, your fingertips back. And then draw your knees to your chest, have a gentle hug of your knees in. And slowly roll over to the right, come into a fetal position, create a pillow with your palms. Take a couple of breaths here. Now keeping your eyes closed, slowly press your left palm down into the mat as you slowly start to bring yourself into a seated position. With your eyes closed here, just take a moment to bring your awareness within and just notice the space that you've created through today's practice. Notice the flow of energy. And then slowly walk your hands either side of your hips. And as you inhale, reach your palms up and over your head, bringing your hands into a prayer position. And as you exhale, slowly lower your hands down to your heart center. Bring your forehead to meet your fingertips to seal today's class. Namaste.